Hello guys, this is Keanu Easy here, and today I'm going to be showing you an uh, introduction to using an SQL database um, while using the Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Visual Basic IDE. Um, what I'm going to do first is create a new project. I'm going to do a Windows application. Let's call it a uh, SQL connection. Alright. Well, I guess I can rename this. Manage your database. Alright, and I guess I can also rename this. Alright, all good. Okay. First of all, we're going to need to create a new database. So let's go to add a new item and I'm gonna use a service based database and I'll just call this database one, that's fine. Alright, I'll choose this a data set for the database. Uh, we don't have any objects or any data inside the database yet, so it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, now I'm going to go to the Database Explorer Connection tab, and this should have a uh, ribbon next to it. That means you're successfully connected. If not, you could try right-clicking on it, pressing Refresh, and if it still doesn't get a ribbon after you refresh it, then there's something wrong. Alright, well, after you go into Tables, I'm going to add a new table, and I'll have a column called um, Username. And the data type of this will just be text and password and just be text. We cannot have null username or database. It means nothing. They can't be equal to nothing. And I'll call the table name accounts. Okay, now we can right click on our accounts table and click on show table data. This is where we add the default data that's already in there. So maybe I want to make one for myself. Uh, and maybe I want to make another one. I don't know. Those are my, I don't know, random stuff. <laughs> Alright, well that's all good. So now we can go ahead and display... Uh, Display our database using an element from the toolbox called Data Grid View. It displays rows and columns of data in a grid, so you can customize. Shown right there. Okay, we have to choose our data source. Since we don't have any, we can press Add Project Data Source. Um, choose your default database connection string that you already created. Alright, I want to use the uh, tables. I'm going to show all the tables. We don't really need these other ones. And I want to use the show the account table. Alright, finish. Okay, after that, we can dock in the parent container. Alright, well now that's all docked. Um, I might want to change uh, this thing to, I don't know, a different color, I don't know. Uh, let's find how it was. Alright. Well, well, that's all you really need to do. Now when we start debugging our program, I'll show the data I entered. And we can even make new data right from this grid table. We can move this over if we wanted to. Make this columns bigger, I guess. This. Um, yeah. Now if I want to add a new one, I can call it um, cheese, the password, you know, I don't know. I can even um, select these things and like rearrange the order that they're in and all this different kind of stuff. Just from this, um, say sorting by, all the different kind of stuff that you could do. Just from this uh, data grid view. Okay. 